Australia's Royal Commission into how institutions responded to child sexual abuse has been hearing evidence for four years. It's expected to last another year. And the revelations have been damning. Earlier this week, the inquiry heard that a staggering 4,500 people were victims of abuse by the Catholic Church over the three and a half decades to 2015. That abuse is said to have been perpetrated by 7% of priests. In one religious order, over 40% of church figures are accused. The man at the centre of this controversy is Cardinal George Pell, Australia's most senior Catholic who now resides in the Vatican as a top advisor to Pope Francis. Cardinal Pell is accused of covering up and failing to report a large number of rapes. Police in the state of Victoria have been investigating complaints from multiple cities against him for almost two years. There's been a public push to get him to return to Australia to face questions. But he has so far refused, instead appearing by video link from Rome. In the past 24 hours, the country's Senate passed a motion calling for Cardinal Pell to return home and face questions. Denying any wrongdoing, Mr Pell has responded, calling it a political stunt, an example of pathetic point scoring. The Vatican doesn't have an extradition treaty with Australia, so it's unlikely Cardinal Pell will return to face questions anytime soon. Katie Silver, BBC News.